Welcome to today's video, where we're diving into a fascinating topic that's often overlooked when talking about human evolution, the Ice Age. You might think of woolly mammoths, glaciers, and freezing landscapes, but the truth is, the last Ice Age, the Pleistocene Epoch, had a profound impact on our species, one that has shaped our genetics in ways we're still uncovering today. The last Ice Age which began around 2.6 million years ago and ended about 11,700 years ago, was not a single cold snap. Instead, it was a series of long, cold periods interspersed with warmer interludes. During these chilly spells, glaciers expanded and covered vast areas of land. This dramatically changed the planet's landscapes, sea levels, and ecosystems, and more importantly, it challenged humans in ways that forced evolutionary change. When you think about human genetics, it's easy to think of it in terms of DNA, family trees, and inheritance. But genetics is also the story of adaptation, how humans have responded to the environments they lived in and the challenges they faced. The Ice Age was one of the most significant challenges early humans had to overcome. It not only influenced where we lived, but also how we looked, how we moved, and how we survived. From the frozen tundras of the north to the ice-free refuges in the south, the Ice Age led to profound shifts in human populations. This period of extreme cold, migration, and survival set the stage for key genetic changes that would pass down through generations. These changes didn't just make us adaptable to the cold. They also made us adaptable to the harsh environments of the future, including the rapid environmental shifts that came with the end of the Ice Age. What we're about to explore is the lasting impact of this era on human genetics, the ways our ancestors adapted to survive, and how those adaptations still resonate in the genes of humans today. So, buckle up. The Ice Age's story isn't just about extinct species and glaciers. It's about how these challenges shaped us, humanity's survival story written in our DNA. When the Ice Age began, human populations were already spread across different parts of the world. But the harsh environment of the Ice Age forced humans to adapt in ways that led to one of the most significant movements in human history, migration. As temperatures dropped and glaciers expanded, humans found themselves faced with challenges that required new solutions, one of the most important being where to go to survive. Around 60,000 years ago, a small group of humans began migrating out of Africa, likely due to changes in climate or other environmental factors. These migrations didn't happen in a vacuum. Glaciers and ice sheets played an essential role in determining the routes these early humans took. As the ice sheets expanded, they created new land bridges and pathways, which allowed humans to travel to places that were previously inaccessible. For example... During the Ice Age, a land bridge known as Beringia connected Asia to North America, allowing humans to move into the Americas. This movement wasn't a single event, but rather a slow process that took thousands of years. But migration wasn't just about moving to warmer climates. The Ice Age also led to humans reaching areas that were newly exposed as glaciers receded. This opened up new opportunities for human settlement, but it also brought with it genetic challenges. Populations living in isolated regions, whether in the Arctic or high-altitude areas, began to adapt to their new environments in ways that would shape their genetic makeup. For instance, some groups in northern latitudes developed traits like shorter, stockier builds to conserve heat. Others in isolated areas developed unique adaptations to their immune systems, helping them fight off diseases and survive in harsh climates. These migrations weren't just about physical movement. They were about genetic mixing. As humans moved and interacted with one another, their genetic material mixed, leading to new genetic variations and a broadening of the human gene pool. The influence of the Ice Age on human migration helped shape modern populations and allowed humanity to become the diverse, adaptive species we are today. From the icy north to the warmer south, the Ice Age truly helped chart the course of human history. The Ice Age wasn't just a period of migration and movement. It was also a time when humans had to adapt to some of the harshest conditions imaginable. With temperatures dropping drastically and glaciers spreading over the earth, humans living in these regions were forced to evolve in order to survive. 
This led to specific genetic adaptations that helped early humans endure the cold, and some of those genetic traits are still present in modern humans today. One of the most obvious and important adaptations was related to body shape. In cold climates, having a larger, stockier body is beneficial because it helps conserve heat. This is known as Bergman's Rule, which suggests that individuals living in colder climates tend to have more compact bodies with shorter limbs. This helps retain body heat rather than losing it through larger surface areas. If you've ever seen the traditional Inuit people of the Arctic, you'll notice that they tend to have shorter, thicker bodies compared to people living in warmer climates. Their genes adapted to the extreme cold, ensuring they could stay warm even in freezing conditions. But it's not just about body shape. Cold climate populations also had to adapt at the metabolic level. When exposed to cold temperatures, the body needs more energy to maintain its internal temperature. Some of our ancient ancestors in cold regions evolved to store fat more efficiently. Fat doesn't just provide energy. It also acts as insulation against the cold. Over generations, those with genetic traits that allowed them to store and burn fat more effectively had a survival advantage. These traits were passed down to future generations, and today, we can still trace the genetic markers related to fat storage in modern populations that have ancestors from colder regions. Additionally, skin color evolved to help humans cope with the sun in colder climates. While most of the world's population today has varying degrees of skin pigmentation, northern populations have evolved lighter skin over time. The lighter skin allows for more effective absorption of sunlight, which is crucial in colder regions with less sunlight. Without this adaptation, people living in higher latitudes would have struggled to synthesize enough vitamin D. The genetics of human skin color are a direct response to the environment, and the Ice Age played a key role in shaping this trait. Together, these genetic adaptations helped our ancestors survive in one of the most extreme environments on Earth. As early humans adapted to the Ice Age, some populations faced extreme pressures that resulted in what we call genetic bottlenecks. These bottlenecks occurred when environmental challenges, like drastic climate changes or catastrophic events, caused populations to shrink dramatically, leaving only a small portion of the gene pool to repopulate the species. The genetic legacy of these bottlenecks is still with us today, influencing human diversity. One of the most notable bottlenecks happened around 70,000 years ago with the eruption of Mount Toba, which is believed to have caused a volcanic winter that severely impacted global temperatures. It's theorized that this event led to a dramatic reduction in the human population, perhaps reducing the number of humans on the planet to as few as 2,000 individuals. This drastic decrease in population caused a bottleneck in our genetic diversity. Only the genetic traits that survived this crisis were passed down to future generations. Genetic bottlenecks are important because they shape the gene pool of the surviving population. They limit the genetic diversity of that population, making it more likely for certain genetic traits to become more widespread, while others may vanish entirely. Today, scientists can trace the genetic consequences of these bottlenecks by studying modern populations. For example, Certain genetic traits that appear frequently in contemporary populations, such as specific immune responses, can be traced back to these survival moments. On the flip side, many genetic traits disappear during bottlenecks, leading to a reduction in genetic diversity. What this means for us today is that while we are all human, our genetic variation is influenced by these historical population crashes. The Ice Age bottleneck is one of the major events that shaped our genetic inheritance, leaving us with the legacy of a smaller, more unified gene pool. While bottlenecks reduce genetic variation, they also contribute to the survival of key traits that allowed our ancestors to overcome the challenges of the Ice Age. Let's now look at how the Ice Age also shaped our relationships with other human species, like Neanderthals and Denisovans. When we think about the Ice Age and human genetics, we often focus on our ancestors, Homo sapiens. However, we weren't the only hominins around during that time. Alongside Homo sapiens, there were other species, like Neanderthals and Denisovans, that lived across Europe, Asia, and other parts of the world. 
These hominins didn't just coexist with early humans. They interacted with them, and in some cases they interbred. This interbreeding left an imprint on our DNA that can still be seen in modern humans today. Neanderthals, who lived in Europe and parts of Asia during the Ice Age, are perhaps the most well-known of these extinct cousins. Thanks to advances in genetic research, we now know that non-African human populations carry between 1% to 2% of Neanderthal DNA. These genetic contributions have influenced traits like immune system responses and skin adaptations. For example, Neanderthal genes have been linked to the development of certain immune responses, helping humans survive diseases in the harsh environments of Ice Age Europe. But it's not just Neanderthals who have left a genetic legacy. Denisovans, a lesser-known hominin group, also contributed to the genetic makeup of modern humans. They lived in parts of Asia, and research suggests that populations in East Asia, as well as some Native American groups, carry traces of Denisovan DNA. One of the most significant Denisovan contributions is related to high-altitude adaptations, such as those found in Tibetan populations. The Denisovan genes help these groups adapt to life in the high-altitude, oxygen-deprived environments of the Himalayas. These genetic interrelations remind us that the Ice Age was not just a battle for survival for Homo sapiens. It was a time of genetic exchange and adaptation, where Homo sapiens, Neanderthals, and Denisovans shaped one another's genetic legacies. These contributions have had long-lasting impacts on how we survive in the modern world, from immune defenses to high-altitude survival. In fact, it's likely that some of the genetic traits we take for granted today, such as disease resistance, are the direct result of these ancient interactions. The Ice Age wasn't just about surviving the cold and finding food. It was also a period of significant ecological stress that exposed early humans to a range of diseases. The harsh environments, reduced resources, and long migrations created conditions ripe for the spread of illness. But rather than succumbing to these diseases, humans adapted in extraordinary ways, building genetic resistance that would go on to shape their survival long after the Ice Age ended. One of the most notable ways in which the Ice Age influenced human genetics was through the development of immunity. As humans moved across continents, they were exposed to new pathogens and diseases that they had never encountered before. In response, human populations began to develop genetic defenses to these threats. The genetic variations that helped people fight off diseases became more common, while those who couldn't survive died off leaving behind only the survivors with better resistance to the diseases they encountered. Perhaps one of the most famous examples of this is the gene for sickle cell anemia. Although this gene is most commonly associated with malaria resistance in Africa, it has origins tied to survival in other environments as well. Similarly, the genetic adaptations that enabled humans to resist tuberculosis and other infections spread during the Ice Age. Over time, the immune system developed remarkable ability to cope with threats. This legacy of disease resistance is something we still benefit from today. Even though the Ice Age ended thousands of years ago, the genetic resistance to diseases that emerged during this period continues to protect us. Our ancestors' ability to fight off diseases during the Ice Age laid the groundwork for the immune systems we rely on today. So, the next time you catch a cold, remember... The human body is the product of thousands of years of survival, built on the resilience formed during the Ice Age. Now, let's take a look at how these Ice Age genetic adaptations have shaped the populations we see today. The environment in which your ancestors lived left its mark on you. From the darkest Arctic winters to the sun-drenched deserts, the Ice Age influenced how people adapted to their surroundings. These ancient adaptations are still visible in modern populations. Take, for example, the Inuit people of the Arctic. Their bodies are adapted to extreme cold, with stockier builds and higher levels of fat storage. They also have unique genetic traits that help them metabolize fat more efficiently. On the other side of the world, the indigenous people of the Andes have high-altitude adaptations in their genes that help them thrive in oxygen-deprived mountain regions. These adaptations, shaped by the Ice Age, are evidence of how humans have evolved to survive in diverse environments. 
What's even more fascinating is how these traits are preserved today, especially in isolated populations. People living in regions once covered by ice, like the far north or high altitudes, continue to carry genes that help their ancestors survive the Ice Age. The Ice Age, in a sense, laid the foundation for the unique genetic signatures we see in populations around the world today. As we wrap up, it's clear that the last Ice Age wasn't just a period of cold temperatures and mammoths. It was a pivotal chapter in human evolution, shaping who we are today, both genetically and culturally, from migration and adaptation to survival against harsh climates and diseases, the Ice Age forced our ancestors to evolve in ways we're only beginning to understand. Our genes carry the legacy of the Ice Age, the survival strategies that allowed early humans to not only endure the cold but thrive and spread across the planet. Today, scientists are still uncovering the genetic clues left behind by this epic period in human history. So... Next time you think of the Ice Age, remember, it's not just about glaciers and mammoths. It's about the deep genetic connections that bind us all to our ancient past. Thanks for joining me on this exploration of how the Ice Age shaped human genetics. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with our future explorations into the mysteries of the past. Until next time...